In this video I will explain object linking and message passing. Links are used to indicate relationships between objects. In most cases they are used for passing messages. I will illustrate with an example. First create a timed lever object. Then create an indicator lamp. A reasonable scale factor for this is 4. Any color is fine. Select the lever and press L for a link, then click the lamp. The lever is now linked to the lamp. Now if I punch the lever, it sends an on message to the lamp and it turns on. After a while the lever goes back off and sends an off message, thus turning the lamp off. You can delete a link by selecting the object at the start of the arrow, pressing L, and clicking the object at the end of the arrow. In other words, the same thing as when creating the link. You can press L twice to reverse the direction of the link operation. If a link operation fails, the reason is listed in this indicator area. In this case, the lamp cannot have outgoing links. By default, the lever returns after 5 seconds. If you go to the custom tab, then you will find the uh, special properties of this object. The delay is the amount of time before the lever returns to the off state. The default value is 150 steps, 30 steps is 1 second, so this is 5 seconds. If you set it to 0 or a negative value, then the lever never goes off. The targetable when on property just says whether this target indicator is still visible when the lever is on. The lever is called a trigger object since it sends messages. The lamp is called a triggerable object since it receives messages. Many objects are actually both triggerable and triggers. For instance, if I create a door object, I can make a chain of two levers and then connect them to the door. This lever will now enable the other lever, which in turn enables the door. If you go to the link tab of a linkable object, you will usually find a brief description of the object's linking behavior as well as some utility buttons. This description mentions cave objects, which I will explain in a future video. The utility buttons can be useful for performing bulk operations. So you can create a chain in the order that you selected the objects. You can link the selected objects to the pivot object, in this case the last selected object, or you can link the selected objects from the pivot object or delete the links. A lever that is not connected to anything will not move. This is because there is no object that is accepting the on message. The same thing happens if you try to open a door that is already open. So if I link both of these levers to the door, then open one, then the other one will not move until the door is closed again. The same thing happens if you connect the lever to a lamp, but enable the always reject property. If another object is accepting the message, then the lamp will turn on. If both the door and the lamp are rejecting the message, it will not light up. On the other hand, if you disable the always reject property, then this lever will always move. This mechanism is a little bit silly, but hopefully this gives you an insight into how it works. Here is the list of the hotkeys introduced in this video. I will put it in the video description as usual.